Hello everyone. I'm about to video myself removing the apron from my BH600G lathe. I need to take it off because I've dent some gears in it. Firstly, I need to remove or disconnect these three shafts there. Lead screw, the middle one is the feed rod. This is the one that provides power to the cross line or to the saddle and that is where the gear fits. And that one is the spindle direction rod via the lever on the right hand side and that just when I read when the motor that was fitted originally was a single phase and you could swap change the direction forward or reverse via the contacts in here which you will see shortly so the first thing to do I need to remove that which is the ah, the lead screw bushing but that has a grub screw in it so that needs to come loose now the first time I tried to shift that over it was really ah, ah first time was virtually impossible what you will have in there are these five millimeter spring pins bad idea i recommend you knock those out and replace them with some brass tubing brass tubing that will fit straight in knock it through and then if you if this jams up against anything here or in a workpiece this will shear that will not shear as i found out so what we do now is we leave we can move this we can't move it any further than that because the rod end cap prevents this from coming out. I'll show you later. This one, the feed rod is exactly the same. It has this horrible spring pin in it. So replace that as well. This one can be pushed right out. As far out as you can. This one, let's have a screwdriver I now have. So let's remove these. I don't remember if that's slotted or not. Ah, yes, there we are. Those cams operate contacts inside the control box. And I'll show you what happens when you operate the lever. neutral one way and motor the other way I am not using those this is coming off and staying off I don't need it and this just fits into a bearing But you need to do a little bit more work on the other side because it is held in place by a grub screw. Okay, I've loosened that grub screw. Now this should, like everything, should, but doesn't.
what's going on people that should slide straight out I don't remember what I did such a long time ago this video is going to need a lot of editing a heck of a lot of editing it's a booger getting old you forget things well I've got two perfect excuses I'm getting old and my cancer treatment plays havoc with my memory ah that thing's in the in the way See how long this screw is. If it's long enough, then I know it's holding everything in place. Yes. Ah, there we are. Okay, there's something else holding it in place as well. Behind there, I think. Oh, no, that's that's okay. You see now it uh, now it moves out the way. I don't need the motor direction switch, or rather, uh, I've forgotten what it is now. Spindle direction rod, because I fitted a three phase motor, three phase motor, with a VFD. A variable frequency drive and its control so I have full control of the speed and direction and I want to use the space where the feed rod handle feed rod direction sorry not is it the feed rod oh, my brains where the spindle direction handle fits which will be which will become clear a bit later okay now I need to finish this video because I'm ready to tackle the rod end cap so this one is now finished 